Hopefully the shot town is bare on a fight Let me go tune in to keep on the mic He gon' make sure we get our news and highlights When you get on YouTube, you better hit the likes ESPN just dropped another critical update on the Ben Johnson and Chicago Bears situation. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Bears fans, make sure you also do me another huge favor, but also hit the like button on today's episode of Keek on the Mic. All right, Bears fans, we have talked so much about who we believe that the next Chicago Bears head coach will be. And we already know that the Chicago Bears, Ryan Poles and Kevin Warren have already begun their research um, on head coaching candidates. And it seems that the, the, the forefront of this head coaching search depends on what they truly want. They either want a, a young premier offensive mind to really elevate Caleb Williams, or they want a proven head coach with experience i'm a strong leader that can bring discipline and respect within this organization that's why the initial list of names involves ben johnson joe brady mike vrabel and brian flores but if you ask many bears fans i'm around the world um, i think the favorite amongst bears fans is off of the coordinator ben johnson and, and rightfully so look what he's been able to do um with a guy like Jared Goff, uh, really rescued his career when Jared Goff looked like he was kind of on the downhill slope in his NFL career. They've had one of the top offenses for three years in a row under Ben Johnson's leadership. And there's been also a lot of rumors about what Ben Johnson wants. Uh, and if he does, in fact, uh, take a head coaching job, rather it's with the Bears or the Saints or the New York Jets, any head coaching job at that matter. And, and a lot of Bears fans are, are concerned that maybe he will not take the Chicago Bears coaching job uh, just for the fact that the Chicago Bears are dysfunctional. Um, they seem like they can't get out of their own way. And it seems like, you know, Ben Johnson doesn't really want to come to an organization um, that's dysfunctional. He wants to make sure everything is in order, that he's a, in alignment with the GM and with the organization. Uh, and it just seems to me at the moment, maybe there's a good chance that Ben Johnson wants to be a Chicago Bears head coach, but it's also that slim chance that he doesn't want to deal with the dysfunction that the Chicago Bears have to offer. But here is good news um, on the situation regarding Ben Johnson and the Chicago Bears. According to D Dan Graziano of ESPN, the interest between the two sides remains stronger than ever. This is what he had to say, Bears fans. Yeah, Cliff Kingsbury is a name that keeps coming up in Chicago, especially because of his previous relationship with Williams at USC. I still expect the Bears to take a run at Johnson, and it's possible they could get him. I believe Johnson will be a hot candidate, but Williams should be a draw for any creative offensive mind, including any who might be inclined to join the potential Rabel staff there. Bears fans, first and foremost, it's really good to hear um, that there's still some interest from Ben Johnson to become the next Chicago Bears head coach. I think the Chicago Bears um, will do anything in their power if Ben Johnson is the candidate that they want to make him the next head coach of the Chicago Bears. First and foremost, I know that Ben Johnson wants a whole lot of money. I believe he's looking for $15 million a year, which will put him at the exact same amount as Sean McVay and what he's making with the Los Angeles Rams, which is which is really crazy, especially when you consider that McVay is a Super Bowl champion and, and Ben Johnson is a first-time head coach um but that won't be too much of a problem for the chicago bears it's already rumors and reports out there um that the mccaskey family has given kevin warren and ryan poles the green light um to make anything happen in terms of head coach in terms of the money it would cost um, to, br to bring a premier head coach here to chicago and once again this is the most important hire in chicago bears history you want to make sure not only caleb williams is comfortable but you want to make sure you're hiring a coach for the entirety of the chicago bears organization so i think if ben johnson's the guy of course you're going to pay him that money what he's been able to do with jared goff uh, and the detroit lions offense uh has been really really good and i think ben johnson should be at the top of, of their candidate list to become the chicago bears next head coach but now this is what i really want to talk about and even though ben johnson is a hot candidate um, I understand he's a really good offensive coordinator. He has no proven experience as a head coach. And, and when you talk to a lot of Bears fans, that makes some Bears fans nervous, right? He's never been a head coach. He doesn't have the experience. He could end up being like an Adam Gase. Adam Gase was a really good offensive coordinator. But the second he became um, the head coach of the New York Jets, he was not good whatsoever. And, and that really, truly scares um, some Bears fans. And that's why I wanted to bring up on today's podcast that, hey, 
the two options for the Chicago Bears either hire a offensive mind, a, a bright offensive mind like Ben Johnson or Joe Brady, or maybe hire a proven head coach that has experience in like Mike Vrabel or Brian Flores. So in my personal opinion, Bears fans, and of course we will talk more about this um, as we get closer to the possibility of the Bears actually hiring a coach and they actually get in the process of interviewing candidates. I, I truly believe it's going to come down to either Ben Johnson or Mike Vrabel. And I understand a lot of people are kind of not really feeling Mike Vrabel because he's a defensive coach. And then once again, you're thinking about if Mike Vrabel comes to Chicago, yes, he could be a good head coach. Um, but if we have a good OC, we're going to have to keep revolving the OCs and they feel like that's going to hurt Caleb Williams in the long run. Let me tell you something about Mike Vrabel. He is a really good head coach and he is really starting to grow on me when you look at the resume um that mike rabel was able to put together while being the tennessee titans head coach he's a former coach of the year winner he went 54 and 45 um, as the titans head coach made the playoffs three out of the six seasons with the afc title game appearance he he really established a strong culture and, and proved that he can be a disciplined and strong leader while with the tennessee titans he really took a c roster and made it a B plus roster while he was the head coach with the Tennessee Titans. He had two division titles with the Titans as well. And, and the main thing here is that he was successful at finding good offensive coordinators. Matt LaFleur was one of them. And obviously he had Arthur Smith as well. And both of them were head coaches, went out to be head coaches. And obviously you see what Matt LaFleur is doing with the Green Bay Packers currently. So I understand there is uh, some some Bears fans that may be like, hell no, I don't my, want Mike Rabel. But to me personally, I wouldn't mind a guy like Rabel being the Chicago Bears' next head coach. I think he would come in and demand respect. And I think that I think the Chicago Bears truly need to find a guy that can be an organizational leader as well. He would come in and I think he would still do what's best for Caleb Williams moving forward. And not only what's best for Caleb Williams, but the entirety of the Chicago Bears football team. Um, I, I think Rabel is going to be very high on the Chicago Bears list. But I also think that Ben Johnson is going to be high on the Chicago Bears list. And I think at, at the end of the day, these are going to be the final two names to look out for as the next Chicago Bears head coach. And I truly believe that. But this is going to be uh, a couple of months away until we finally figure out uh, who the next Chicago Bears head coach will be. Um, Kevin Warner, Ryan Poles will do their due diligence and, and interview multiple names. I, I expect guys like Cliff Kingsbury, Joe Brady, Brian Flores, Aaron Glenn, DC from the Detroit Lions get interviews as well. But I think when push comes to shove, I think Ben Johnson and uh, Mike Vabel make the most sense for the Chicago Bears moving forward. Obviously for different reasons, um, but I think they will both be great candidates for the Chicago Bears. So Bears fans, I would love to hear from you guys. I know you, you guys all love uh, Ben Johnson, maybe except for some of you guys in the comment section saying, hey, I don't want Ben Johnson. He's not proven. Um, but let me know if you guys will be down for a coach like Mike Vrabel to come in here and maybe change the culture a little bit here in Chicago. I think he would be outstanding head coach. He's proven. He definitely knows how to pick good coordinators, and I think he would still have the best interest uh, for Caleb Williams and, and, and his success moving forward. So let me know how you feel about Mike Vrabel being the next head coach of the Chicago Bears. But other than that, Bears fans, make sure you guys continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, and make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears that you know. But other than that, be back for our all new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and as always, bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.